your loving uncle Joker to solemnly vow not to kill anyone for a whole year. Which means I'm going to have to work extra fast to bump up a few more of you today. <laughs> Yo, what is going on guys? Return of the Mac. It is your boy back with another statue unboxing and review. Your boy's been a little busy. Uh, the Mac Palace 2.0 build has been taking up some serious time. So I apologize for not having the content. I was on a roll and I was putting out about one video or two videos per week. So I'm looking forward to getting back to that as soon as possible. So if you guys have been following the channel, I've been dabbling in a little bit of video game gameplay on the Avengers. So I'll jump right back into that too as well so if you guys like that content let me know in the comment section below if that's your thing or not but for now we got some prime one studio goodness to check out so as you guys can see we got the Libra Mejo Joker really excited to get this thing out and see what it's all about I've been really hyped to check out this statue but also the Libra Mejo Batman Dam statue I have that as well so I gotta get that up on the channel if you guys are into Primeless Studio statues I'll put a link up for all the content that I have or statue unboxing and reviews that are on the channel related to any Primeless Studio statue there's a lot also don't forget to check out this video link here for the channel giveaway that I have going on right now for details on how to enter so I know I say this in all the videos but I really do need you guys to make sure hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you like what you guys see We've got a lot of content that's coming up on the channel and I hope you guys like it So make sure you guys leave me a comment down below on what you guys like What's the best thing you think about this channel? So without further ado, let's go ahead and get these box cracked open and see what Joker's looking like Okay, so we got the art boxes out of the shipper. As you can see, we got the Joker face here, looking dope. If this statue looks anything like how uh, he's depicted here on the art box, it's gonna be a win. I've already known, I've seen the prototype pictures of the statue, seen a couple of in-hand pics as well. So I know that it's gonna look great. So I think that the box art is pretty cool. Um, you have the little ha ha's here on the side. Design, development, and paint by Prime One Studio team. We all know that this statue and its likeness is based off of the Libra Mayho Joker, which I'll show you guys uh, that book too, so you guys can see how close it is. And then on the little box, kind of the same thing. This one's heavier, so this one's definitely got the base in it. So a little bit of different uh, kind of artwork here on this one. So also as well, this one, since we got this directly from Prime One Studios, this one has the exclusive Libra Mayho art print as well. So we'll definitely have to get that out and check that out as well. So let's go ahead and move on to the next part and get the statue out of the box. Okay, so we got the styrofoam out of the shippers or the art boxes. Uh, let's go ahead and get these tops popped. Mac Blade has been starving, looking for some action. So let's go ahead and get him his just dues. this first top so like I stated this one has the base in it so as you guys can see you got Batman here on the front and some other pieces of the base here Go ahead and pull. So this isn't actually to the base these are actually the head sculpt holders here we got another one here and here's the third one this paper out of the way so you guys can see a little bit more so um, I'll pull out a couple of these other pieces here so we have chains here it looks like these will attach to the base I'll pull out one of these other accessories here looks like we have some joker cards pretty cool so I'll go ahead and get uh, the base out real quick. So as you guys can see, it's a pretty vibrant bottom uh, here to it. And we got 
38 out of 300 as you guys saw earlier but that is a very low edition size I will note right off the bat I see a little broken piece here not sure exactly what that goes to but I'll have to do some investigating on that so I'm gonna go ahead and get everything else out which means I'm going to have to work extra fast to bump up a few more of you today <laughs> okay so now we're on to the second box this is the box that contains the body but there is also this special Lieberneho art print that should be here so there's that art print guys signed by the man himself Lieberneho nothing on the back but yeah that's pretty cool Hopefully there isn't too much glare on it. But yeah, guys, this is the exclusive that you get from ordering us directly through the Prime One store. Okay, so that was the bottom of the box. So for y'all that are getting the art print, the art print is on the bottom. I'm gonna flip it over to the top part. Here we have the body uh, of the Joker statue. And we have the head sculpts. And pull one of those out here real quick. Looking sinister and crazy. hand sculpts here so um, let me go ahead and pull this body out real quick so here you have Joker's body I was trying to be as careful as possible here with this cape and I'm trying to have any breakages here on camera and then this is a real chain right here See if I can get that uncovered. You guys better get a little bling there. So I'm gonna go ahead and get everything else um, out and up on the table. we have our statue pieces laid out we have the body the hands and then the different head sculpts over here I'm really digging these head sculpts so far we have these little accessory pieces and the two chains so not a lot of pieces to install with this so this should be a easy breeze all right if you remember in the unboxing part I found this little piece of the base I was looking over this to try to find where that went and I can't find it anywhere. So um, I'm not sure if that was just an extra piece that got packaged up with my package or if it's just something that I can't see, but everything looks okay from here. First up, we have the body. Let's go ahead and flip this around. There's a key there. This foot pegs into right here. His foot pegged in on the base coming at us next up we have the chains with the one with the red marking corresponds down here so there's another red painted mark right here and you can match it up down here. There's a nice magnet that 
fits both of these pieces in, so you don't have to be worried about the fit. That's how it looks when it's all said and done. The second chain does not have any painted marks on it because we know where it goes. It basically goes here and just like on the other side. So you just need to make sure you have the right one. And that's how that fits in. Moving on up, I'm gonna install his hand. Then we'll go ahead and install the hand holding the gun. It also has this little cool pop flag. Sticks in there like that. So that is purely optional. If you don't want it to be there, you don't have to have it. And now to crown our man Joker off, we'll throw in this head sculpt here. And there you have the Libermejo Joker all together. I really like that chain there that's hanging there. Very cool looking piece. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch out some of the head sculpts and the hands so you guys can kind of see that real quick. So I decided to switch it up a little bit and kind of do a little video montage here of me switching out the parts. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, now I'm gonna go ahead and take a look at the piece and just go over it and the next section will be the review. All right, so I've taken some time to check over this piece. It didn't really take me a long time to really get into this review and be excited about this piece. You may not be able to tell, but I think this thing is awesome. Uh, what I wanted to do is just go through uh, the head sculpts here so you guys can see those and see the little stands they come with before we start getting into the actual statue itself. So if you guys look, these are packed with detail, these head sculpts here and these little bases that come with them are very cool so you have on the bottom museum mastermind the joker concept designed by Lieber Mayo. so these are very cool and i like that prime one is now shipping or seems to be shipping their statues uh, with these accessory pieces here at least for this line right here so 
Very cool detail on them. They match the base, very dark and dingy and cracked. They are all basically the same. Uh, it's a little bit of different paint on some of them, but uh, they're all basically the same. Out of all these head sculpts, I think that the gnarliest ones are, of course, uh, this uh, skull uh, rotted flesh one with the nose off. And my favorite of the bunch is, of course, battering in his eye there. I think that is a jaw dropper when you see this piece in a collection. I think somebody would come right to it and be like, what the hell is going on with his face? But it's Pinewood did a killer job with the sculpt on that. But yeah, let's go ahead and get into the piece. So starting with the bottom and working our way up, we have Batman here on the front of the base with his arms outstretched to the side. And these chains are, of course, holding him back. So that is a very cool concept. The main thing that I did notice about this statue and the base is that this base looks exactly like the Deathstroke statue. Uh, there's a little bit of difference here with the side. I know the Deathstroke has the angel that's up front. I have an unboxing and review on that. That is actually my very first Prime One Studio statue. So definitely go make sure and check out that video. I've come a long way since that video. <laughs> but uh, this statue is awesome. Coloring is cool. Um, I like how on the front of Batman's face here, it's uh, got the smile carved into it, the Joker smile carved into it there as well. So that's pretty cool. You definitely know that the Joker has had his way with Batman. And this uh, Batman has like the same design uh, from the uh, Noel series. And we also have the Batman Dam that's coming up here soon. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Uh, the cape on the side of Batman also has got some pretty cool weathering and cracking going throughout it. Some nice black and gray wash. And then over here, I think uh, this is Robin's face on the side here. Um, and it's got pretty cool details here on the side. On the back, um, you have uh, the bat symbol with the X or knife marks through it, which I think is done very well. You definitely can tell that, like I said, this is a Joker type base where the bat symbol has been defiled. And then you also have on this side the same face. That could be Nightwing's uh, mask or somebody's there, but I can, really can't see. But very cool. I think that that's a very cool aspect of the statue itself. And also these chains are real metal. So that is also a very cool aspect. Moving up to the actual statue, I think that these boots are phenomenal. Prime One, whoever sculpted this and painted these boots did a phenomenal job on this. I know I keep saying phenomenal, but if you look, that looks exactly like how a leather boot would look. And I believe that it could possibly be like a snake skin type pattern. Um, very cool details uh, throughout that, as you guys can see, very cool coloring. And then the other one over here on the side is basically the same exact way as you guys can see. The pants have got some tears going up throughout with detail packed in them. You have some scars here going upwards as well. And then just like on the other Joker statue, uh, they have a little bit of actual torn cloth that I think that they've placed in here. So that's something that I just found out and that is really, really cool. So if you've seen the unboxing review on the Arkham Knight Joker, uh, you'll see that they used that around like the back part of his coat, but they did that there very subtle here on the side. So that is something else that kind of just poked out. And that's quite surprising to me that they even went to that level of detail to add that to it. I'm gonna be looking for that throughout the rest of the statue, but the pants are done very well. You can see the coloring, the pinstripes going up, and then you have the black or grays kind of dark wash going up to make it look like it's dark and gritty. And then you have his jacket. This looks 100% like real leather. Hopefully this is picking up the detail here uh, on that alone. I think the way that it just kind of bellows here out like the wind is pushing it. And as you can see, like the glistening type of uh, gloss effect that's on the jacket, it just looks like, it just looks real. I can't, this, this statue is kind of blowing my mind at this point. So going around to the front, we have his chain here. Uh, I don't exactly know if this is real metal, but I'm gonna absolutely say that it probably is. It's going with the rest of the line uh, of these statues. They're gonna use uh, real chains. They're probably using that, but I don't really wanna tug on it too much to potentially break it. This is a premium piece. They're gonna use premium materials. So we got his gun here. And I think that that's sculpted very well. 
very cool design on that. Um, very cool coloring. I think it's cool that they are showing the actual Joker skin tone through there. And also right here. And the leather gloves are done very well. I like the expression on his hands. Very cool. I like that he has his uh, vest here and it's got like a really dark kind of brownish yellow um, on it as well. You can see the button upwards to that. You can see the yellow shirt and the detail on that are just dark browns kind of going throughout that making that look even more dirty and grimier than what it is. And then on his neck you have some more kind of a dark kind of detail and paint wash there on that making it look nasty and then you got his veins coming through so this statue just looks really good i can't fault anything about it i think the head sculpts are what really sells this piece there's just so many different options with them so with this one i know i already said about it the eye has the battery through it and i want to kind of show you if you look it's definitely showing that he's wincing in some type of pain there the way that they've got the anatomy of his face going upwards um, as he's kind of, you know, just feeling that battering in his eye. I think that that is done just exceptionally well. So his hair could be a little bit greener, um, but I think it matches the storyline uh, from what I would believe and read in the comics. So um, it's cool to have a Joker that's not as Jokerish, more of a lifelike type of uh, person. So if you would look at that, you would see, uh, this is what I think that he would look like. He was just walking down the street uh, I would definitely wouldn't want to run into this guy walking down the street though. I think that this thing is just done exceptionally well. Really excited to get that Batman out of the box and check him out. So I'm going to go ahead and just switch the head sculpt out here real quick. Throw his knife in just to give it a little different look. So there's a kind of a normal wise joker. I think that smile on his face. I think they did a really good job with that. I mean, if you actually look in there, you can see like all the little details and it's just really nasty looking. So I bet that had to hurt. All right, I wanted to give all of the head sculpts a moment to shine since they are all so great. I went ahead and switched out the statue with the rotted face or rotted skinned uh, portrait and then I have the Libermejo exclusive art print over there but I also wanted to show you where the artwork from this comes from so um, this is uh, the Joker book and a lot of you may have this uh, this was a very good read as well so as you can tell there is some of Lee Barreto's work right here on the front cover so that is what this is based off of and throughout this book you can see what you're kind of getting into here with this statue. So I'm a huge fan of Libra Mayo's artwork. You can definitely see like right here, this is exactly where they got this, uh, the idea for this statue for. But yeah, if you haven't checked this out, I definitely recommend it as a very good read. Anything from that or the Batman Dam line, you can't go wrong with. My scaling on this is gonna be a little bit biased. I think this statue has definitely creeped up to one of my favorites in my collection. It's definitely my favorite Joker statue uh, that I have currently. It's also Lady Max possible favorite statue. There is just so much going on with this statue. You cannot go wrong if you pick this up. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say, in my opinion, it is a 10 out of a 10 statue. Um, it is just packed with detail. It's got so many different switch outs that you can change the head sculpts, you can change the hand sculpts to make it look different. And it's just something that you just have to see in person to really get the gist of. All right, guys, I keep doing switch outs. I'm going to switch out crazy with this statue. Uh, there's just so much things and so much detail uh, that I keep staring at and finding different things here that I'm really digging. Let me know in the comment section below what is your favorite kind of switch out or orientation with this statue. Let me know which one of these head sculpts is your favorite. Also, let me know if this video helped push you towards getting this statue. I got this directly through the Prime One store. This was not available on Sideshow. This is when they were going through their little thing there and uh, Prime One wasn't selling any pieces on Sideshow, so this came directly uh, through Prime One and this came directly from overseas, which is why I have this print. 
Do I think the statue is worth getting through Prime 1? Sure, if you are a huge Libra Mayo fan or a Libra Mayo fan in general, I think it's worth it. But if you can live without it, you can definitely get the statue through Sideshow and be just fine. I don't think there's any difference between head sculpts or anything. I think it's just the print. So I definitely recommend picking up this statue. Um, it's one of the best Joker statues that I think I've seen in a long time. Probably gonna be one of the best Joker statues out for a minute. So that's my opinion on this piece. Hopefully you guys agree with me and decide to pick this up. So make sure you guys stay tuned to the end. I'm gonna have some high def pictures rolling with the music in the background. Make sure you guys hit that like button. It helps the channel out a lot. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and make sure you guys have that notification bell tag so that way you know when I'm posting new content. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace. Your loving uncle Joker to solemnly vow not to kill anyone for a whole year. Which means I'm going to have to work extra fast to bump up a few more of you today. <laughs>